Now, get enough sleep last night? Well, for a lot of us, the answer to that question is probably no. And there are plenty of reasons why you may not be getting enough rest at night, and one of them could be sleep apnea. Problem is, you may not know you have it, and that's where RANA Respiratory Care Group in Dartmouth comes in. The professionals there can help you find out what's behind your sleep problems. And Audrey Susan is the manager of the Nova Scotia Sleep Program at RANA, and she's here with us this morning. Hi. Hi, Heidi. Well, so how do you know if, if this may be behind your problem? Well, there are a number of signs and symptoms that you may have if you have uh, sleep apnea. Mm. The main ones are snoring, if anyone's witnessed you choking or gasping at night, mm. and if you're tired during the day or wake up with worrying headaches. Mm. But that being said, you may not actually have symptoms, mm. and so it's important to get tested. Right, so if you're, if you're finding that you, you go to bed and you wake up and you feel like you haven't slept at all, you should really find out what's behind it, right? Definitely. Sleep so. is so important. So it's Exactly. Uh, kind of need it, and you need a lot of it. So what should someone do then? They come to you guys, and what happens? So first thing we do is actually send someone home with a monitor, mm -hmm. and it monitors their sleep overnight, and then uh, that gives the information we need to see, you know, do you have sleep apnea? Mm -hmm. And then we start the process of, okay, what would be the best treatment for you? Because that really needs to be specific uh, to the individual. Right, right, right. Now we have a model here wearing one of your monitors. So come on in, Cy. <laughs> He's all hooked up. So what is, what is this? Up. You're all hooked up. What is this, this thing? It's the Medibyte, It's right? the Medibyte. It's actually the smallest sleep recorder wow. on, the mar on the market. And yeah, it goes right on you. So it's nice. You don't have to be plugged into the electrical outlet or anything. Okay. It's just right on. Right. And so this is going to give, all these probes are meant to give data to see if you have sleep apnea. Hmm. So, so when you have sleep apnea, we know that it's caused by um, you stop breathing repeatedly at night right. and then your blood oxygen level goes down. So some of the sensors that are important. So if you lift your finger, oh. this is uh, your finger probe. It, it measures your blood oxygen level, right. your heart rate. So we can see if there's any dips in that. Hmm. You've got your nasal cannula on. So I do indeed. <laughs> We're going to see if you're uh, breathing and if you have any stops in breathing. Uh -huh. This little red thing right here is your microphone, and that uh, records snoring. Oh, really? So that's one of the most common signs of, uh, oh. of sleep disorder breathing. And then this unit collects all the information and can tell if you're sleeping on your side, sleeping on your back, or standing up. And the reason that's important is that sleep disorder breathing can be worse in one position or another. So uh, folks may be familiar, you may, some people may get the elbow at night. Do you get the elbow at night? <laughs> I to, dish the to elbow. roll over. You I dish the elbow, the elbow. elbow at night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, so it will know that, right? right? It'll know what position you're in. And then these bands, so you've got bands around yeah, your okay. chest yeah. and yeah. around your abdomen, and that's to see how much effort you're taking to breathe. So oh. when you have sleep disorder breathing, there's more effort involved in many cases. Oh, really? Oh, so they're not just to hold it on. They're actually measuring things, too. That's right. They're not just to look pretty. <laughs> But I do look pretty. But you do. You look, yeah. you, you look very high tech, actually. This is interesting that, that it's just so small. So how long do you wear this for then? Is it one night, two nights? Usually one night is enough. Okay, one yeah. night is enough. And then you take it back to you, and then you build a plan around that? Is that That's right. how it works? So we're, when we download that, we're going to see all these little nice squiggly lines and be able to see, you know, do you have sleep apnea? Um, and then, that's right, the next step is, uh, if you do, finding a treatment that mm. works for you. What's a common treatment for sleep apnea? Uh, the most common treatment that people will be familiar with is uh, CPAP. So that is continuous positive airway pressure mm. and it's a little machine that you wear with a mask right. and it actually splits the airway open mm. so and it can eliminate snoring which is right. nice. Yeah. Uh, and they're very quiet nowadays. Mm. Mm. Maybe you should get one of those. I should. <laughs> should get one of those. <laughs> Maybe not necessarily for you, but I'd really be curious to hear Cyril at night with this little recorder to see what happens. That's see what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. He's talking in my sleep. sleep. Yeah, exactly. Hear your secrets. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We can't actually. All right, well, Audrey, thank you very much for showing us this. We're going to take a break here on BT State.